from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a touch of winter returning to Acadiana. It's going to stay with us for several days, but by the end of the weekend, warming back up and we have some 79 and 80 degree temperatures expected as we head into next week. So a little bit of a temperature roller coaster ahead and right now we're heading down. So let's take a look at the big picture across uh, much of the US. We have a storm system that uh, started on the West Coast has been working its way across the nation's midsection, brought showers to our area this morning. Quick not much severe weather, but that was certainly not the case as you got into the southeastern part portions of the U.S. Meanwhile, back to the west, more rain on the way for coastal areas, more precipitation there down the road. And you can see showers and storms uh, pushing across Florida. No watches and warnings with regards to severe weather, although there is a winter storm warning uh, as you get up into the high mountainous areas of the uh, Appal southern Appalachians. Uh, but that's about it. But today, a lot of severe weather reports across the Southeast US, especially across uh, portions of Alabama. And here in the red box, we have 256 reports of uh, severe weather. Uh, it labels the flash flood, funnel clouds, thunderstorm, but you can see the bulk were damaging winds and tornadoes, especially across portions of Alabama. And there was one long tracked uh, uh, tornado that did a fair bit of da damage and destruction in Selma, Alabama. In fact, there were at least six fatalities across portions of Alabama with the tornadoes from the northern part of the state down through the south. So rough weather for our friends to the east and we'll be thinking about them uh, as we move forward. Meanwhile, for us, we're just seeing breezy and cool conditions. We have a stratiform cloud deck associated with the upper level low that's guiding this weather system. So that's going to be clipping. Uh, we'll say just about Lafayette on eastward through the overnight hours, but shouldn't make uh, much of a difference in our temperatures. Cold air continues to pour in and with those breezy winds, there's wind chill as well. So certainly chilly overnight tonight through tomorrow morning temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s. You saw the clouds there. They'll if we have them in the morning, they'll burn off quickly. We'll be back to mostly sunny skies and then with clear skies and high pressure nearly overhead going into tomorrow night, we're going to see the coldest readings of the week and of the 10 day forecast right around freezing Saturday morning. So certainly a frost possible. Now tomorrow morning, it's going to be a wind chill. These are wind chills tomorrow morning, the mid 30s for most of Acadiana with that stiff north wind. These are sustained winds at 12 to 9, so that is uh, a little uncomfortable for sure. Here are the forecast lows. 38, Opelousas, Ville Platte, Bunky, a little bit colder up toward Alexandria. Upper 30s to lower 40s across the I-10 corridor. We'll go 40 in Lafayette and upper 30s to lower 40s down across the coastal areas. And then tomorrow, warming up into the mid 50s, if you want to call 50s warm, but it'll be uh, by uh, a comparison compared to the morning hours. And if you get in the sun and get out of the wind, it's going to be a nice day. 57, the projected high in Lafayette, much the same coastal parishes tomorrow night. This is when we see the coldest weather, not a hard freeze. Don't need to worry about the pipes, just the plants and the pets for sure. Temperatures lower 30s, northern portions of Acadiana will go about 32 to 33 along the I-10 quarter and then down along the coast, pretty much the same as well. And then a slow warm up as we get into the weekend. So overnight tonight, 40 is going to be the overnight low. We'll say breezy, sharply colder overall. Some clouds coming in, especially northeastern sections of Acadiana and the true view not kind of picking up on those clouds quite yet. Wind chills though in the 30s. Then tomorrow any clouds first thing in the morning will get out by uh, say 10 or 11 o'clock and we'll be back to mostly sunny skies. 57 the projected high. Those breezy north northwest winds will be diminishing as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. Next uh, weather maker will that comes in on Monday. A few showers Monday, Tuesday. It looks like better rain chances Wednesday and then perhaps Saturday with two weather systems. Notice the temperatures though warming back up after a chilly start Sunday morning. We get into the upper 60s, mid 70s on Monday and then pushing 80 degrees again Tuesday, Wednesday of next week before another little bit of a cool down and this chill down was a little sneaky. We were thinking lower 40s uh, a week ago and now we're talking low to mid 30s. So uh, mm -hmm. that's what goes with forecasting in the wintertime. Things change in that <laughs> seven to 10 day part of the outlook all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, right. Rob. Stay with